Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. So we will resume to the power K factorial design. Today we will discuss a special thing that is the issues related to coded design variable, issues of coded design variables. If you go back and see the subsequent lectures what I have delivered in last couple of classes, you have seen that I have considered two factors A and B and I say that A has two labels low, high, also B has two labels low and high and this low we have denoted by minus 1, high we have denoted by plus 1, here also minus 1, here also plus 1 and the individual then uh, these are this is basically the settings and then we have created design matrix with reference to suppose A, B, then we say this is minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, then minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, plus 1 and this treatment combination we denoted like this treatments, this is your 1, this one is A, this one is B and this one is A, B. And obviously, you have created a b interaction by multiplying a column a and b minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and then you found out the y value actually we have used y total and this is also uh, y total we have denoted like this also 1 a b a b here one here one a b a b the treatment combination here by one we said the what is the total here what is the total value what is the total value what is the total value so <coughs> now see what about this a and b they are real physical variables for example if i say a is it is a chemical process A is reactant concentration, reactant concentration in percentage and B is amount of catalyst, amount of catalyst. Then when you actually conduct experiment there is no minus 1 plus 1 or low and high. What is there? There are certain percentage for A. It is the designer or the analyst, the process operator who is having knowledge. He knows what is the range and in the beginning class I said that usually may be minimum value will be low and maximum value will be high or some value within the operating zone will be low and high. Let this is, so in reality it may be low may be 15 percent for A, high may be 25 percent. Here low may be 1 pound and high may be 2 pound that is the amount of catalyst. So, that means essentially if I write down this one that means in, in place of A also if I write x 1 and in it is 1 as x 2 then or you can write A 
b no problem so minus 1 means a is 15 percent b is 1 plus 1 25 percent this is your 1 then again 15 percent 2 then 25 percent 2. So, this is the original value or that means you original units or other way I can say these are engineering units, but when we are defining like this we are converting this engineering unit to coded units minus 1 plus 1 irrespective of whether it is the uh, what is the quantity. So, suppose for B it is 1 and 2 and A it is 15 and 25 percent, but here you see it has been it has been transformed to minus 1 and plus 1 and it has become a unitless kind kind of thing. Okay. So, when you do the experiment you you, pull pro, you tune the process with reference to the factors in terms of its engineering unit which is no original unit, but when uh, we are basically giving you the treatment matrix or design matrix we, we are basically doing in terms of coded variables. The issue is that how this transformation takes place number one. Second issue is that as we have designed what are the advantage of using coded variable it definitely makes our mathematics calculation and calculation simpler. Now, third one is if we do how when you do regression kind of analysis and develop the response surface or the effects. So, what way the coded variable using coded variable when the effects computed by a regression and using using your original units the, the the effect and their significance will there be any difference if there is a difference why this and finally so if if uh, in, is there a way to even if your analysis is done using coded design variables will be can can be converted to the original units or engineering units and and uh, if there are such problems some problems then why should we use coded design variables why should not we go for only engineering variables so these are the issues which we will be discussing in this lecture today okay so let us see the contents I have already given you. We will give you the scheme for transformation from code uh, that is means original to coded and coded to original. Then we will see some regression equations and then we will discuss uh, the advantage disadvantage of using coded design variables and finally, I will show an example uh, of the um, for that advantage and disadvantage point of view. So, you can recollect this kind of diagram, the geometric view of the design matrix. This is for the two factor case, this is three factor case and two factor case this is minus 1 plus 1 scheme, three factor case and this is that will be but three design. These are all known to you by this time and coded to uh, original to coded variable and reverse one we will discuss with reference to two factors and please please read this slide carefully see the design variables are measured in their original measurement scale what I have already told you if this first factor is reactant concentration it is measured in terms of percentage and if it is the second factor is our amount of catalyst it is measured in terms of units like pounds. So, now coding refers to transferring the scale of measurement so that the high value becomes plus 1 and low value become minus 1. I have shown you that 
high or plus 1, low at minus 1. So, the transformation is basically how the 25 percent will be trans transformed to plus 1, 15 percent will be transformed to minus 1 and similarly, here 1 pound will be transformed to minus 1 and 2 pound will be transformed to minus uh, plus 1. So, in this example two factors A and B and A, our, our job is that uh, minus 1 correspond to 15 percent, plus 1 correspond to 25 percent, minus 1 correspond to 1 pound, plus 1 correspond to 2 pound for factor A and B respectively. So, what we will do here? So, we will we'll, we'll start with one factor only for for example, although we are explaining two factor case, but we will do it separately for each each factor at a time. Let the uh, original value, let the original value b x. Otherwise, I can say x is the variable. Now, suppose the high value is let it be we are writing x h and low value we are writing as x low. So, create two quantity alpha which is x h plus x low by 2 and beta which is x h minus x low by 2. Okay. Now, if the if x is measured in original unit, then the coded unit x coded can be x minus alpha by beta. Okay. For example, for example, if we want that 25 percent to plus 1 and 15 percent to minus 1, because our x h is 25 percent and x low is 15 percent. Then alpha equal to alpha equal to 25 plus 15 by 2 that is x h plus x l by 2. So, this is 20 or 20 percent and beta will be 25 minus 15 by 2. So, this is 5 percent. So, if I, I my observe x is x h, then what is the coded value? It will be x h minus alpha by beta, which is basically x h is 25 percent minus alpha is 20, 20 percent, beta is 5 percent. So, this is basically 5 by 5 equal to plus 1. In the same manner, this basically um, uh, x coded when high. So, in the same manner for x coded for low will be that this will be x low minus alpha by beta. So, x low is 15 percent minus 25 percent by 5 percent which is basically minus 1. So, if you if you do in the same manner for the other factors like your b pack factor b that is also in the same manner you will be able to do. So, let us see what we have done here. Okay. I have not yeah I have given here. So, for a alpha beta and for x low this is minus 1 similarly x i it is plus 1. Now, <coughs> it may so happen that the coded value is given. So, how do you get back the original value? You will be getting back original value from this equation. From this equation you can write x equal to beta x c plus alpha. Okay. So, let us see the example. This example you have seen earlier also. So, the advantage of using minus 1 plus 1 we are getting here because of this minus 1 and plus 1 I have shown you using uh, by by least square uh, regression methods that ultimately the effects are 
uh, uh, f x you have seen that this contrast is used to compute the f x. So, we have shown you two ways of two ways of finding out the f x one is basically uh, the from the physical uh, meaning point of view that means, the effect of a when uh, when a at low and a at high the average difference uh, that that way these are the things and this is what is the data and you are getting like this and what we have done we have we have basically the source ANOVA table and this table is known to you. I do not want to discuss further and you found out that that p value uh, is uh, not uh, significant for a b interactions and this is what you have done. This is just to uh, remind you that this is the way things are done. Now, from there straight away I am going to the regression equation. So, what happened as you know that uh, the regression equation beta j or other way I can in this case suppose beta 1 which will be a by 2 and beta 2 will be b by 2 and beta 1 2 will be a b by 2. So, that you have seen earlier because <coughs> regression effect talks about unit change in x what is the change in y h talks about when we are changing minus 1 to plus 1 what is the difference what is the change in y. So, as a result this will be a is divided by 2 similarly other effects. So, as a and b are known and also the beta 0 will be the grand mean beta 0 will be the grand mean. So, that means from the data that sample average. So, you you will you get if using this data you will get this equation what about x 1 and x 2 because x 1 x 2 a, a b interaction is not significant. So, as a result this equation we got from the data given in this table. So, that means, the response surface what we got this is 27.5 plus 8.33 by 2 into x 1 minus 5.0 by 2 into x 2 and we have not considered the a b effect which was basically uh, effect wise it was it was 1.67. So, that means, plus 1.67 uh, then x 1 into x 2 and as you know we are using two symbols either a b c d or x 1 x 2 x 3 like this to, to represent the factors. So, they are interchange we are writing interchangeably. So, um, you must keep in mind this thing. Now, this particular estimate value is not significantly different from 0. So, that is why we have not included in this in the final equation. So, your equation will be 27.5 plus 8.33 by 2 x 1 minus 5.0 by 2 x 2. Here this x 1 and x 2 they are coded. Coded means minus 1 and plus 1 this is basically the. Now, you <coughs> the and the and the regression equation here it is with reference to the coded x 1 and x 2 you may be interested to go back to factor a and b in the original scale instead of writing the coded scale for minus 1 and plus 1. So, I told you that if you want to go back what you require you have to use for that particular variable original unit beta x c coded unit plus alpha where alpha is x h plus x l by 2 beta is x h minus x l by 2. Okay. So, in this case then we will use this. So, I we want in the original units original oblique engineering units what is the regression equation. So, regression equation y cap will be 27.5 plus 8.33 by 2 into x 1 x 1. So, what you will write in place of x 1? So, I am writing in place of x 1 a what is basically the how do you get what is x c? x c we, we, we are writing 
x minus alpha by beta and and what is your beta 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 is x h minus x l by 2. So, if we write this a this is the original value minus alpha is 20 by beta is 5. Okay. So, this is my x x c plus uh, no minus 5.0 by 2 into this will be b minus what was the uh, alpha value 1.5 divided by 0 0.5. So, what is happening here from coded value to original values you are getting and if you simplify this one you will get 18.33 plus 0 0.8 triple 3 a minus 5.00 b. Okay. So, you have coded values. Now, in the you just replace this by this that is what I have done. So, that is the beta value and this x 1 is replaced by the original counterpart that is x minus alpha by beta x here I am writing a or you can also write x 1 absolutely that capital x 1, but better write a and here we are writing b. So, you are getting this what is the difference between these two equations if you want to use this equation you have to use uh, suppose you want to get the predict the value of y given given the factors values then the original values you have to convert to coded value and use the coded value here for x 1 x 2 and get this value. But here what will happen here what happened you, you use the original values and then get the predicted value. Okay. So, this is what is our that is what the way coded transformation and to original transformation from coded variable and now you know that using either the coded or the original one either this or this you can find out the response surface here what happened response surface is a flat one uh, the, re, uh, the reason is basically there is no interactions here and the contours are uh, parallel to each other and the how to interpret the contours I, I told you several times earlier. Okay. So, now you know that the transformation from original to coded and again when you have the regression equation in coded variable how it is to be converted to original variables that also you know. Now, also now you know that the original uh, regression equation with original variables can be used to develop the response surface and the control plots and accordingly you can interpret and uh, use the uh, results for the purpose uh, um, it is it was designed that sense. Now, I will show you some of the advantage and disadvantage of using coded variable. You see coded design variables vary from minus 1 to plus 1 and they are dimensionless original design variable vary within their actual and natural ranges and different dimensions. So, this so that means, the the variability for coded variable c is from minus 1 to plus 1 in between anything is possible for example, for example, what we I have, I have given you that x c equal to x minus alpha by beta. And in our example for reactant concentration this minus 20 by x minus 20 by 5. When x equal to x high you got a 1, when x equal to x low you got minus 1, but x can be in between minus 1 to plus anything. Suppose it is not the minimum one like this one um, 15 or 25 percent let x equal to 10 what will happen to coded value that is 10 minus 20 by 5 it will become minus 2 suppose no no x is 20 then coded value becomes 0. So, okay. 
So, but its range is always my uh, what I I want to say that uh, as as this ten is not within the range. So this is the ten is not within the range. This is not considered. We are basically considering low to high. This is the range of experimentation. So minus one. So this we don't consider. This one we will consider. Second. So, as they are dimensionless, comparison is easy. Second one is that that original variable have different dimensions. I I want to con compare uh, that one unit changes in reactant concentrant with one unit change in uh, your uh, other one that amount of catalyst. So, the as the as the units are different, so the meaning is different. Okay, now coded variables provide with orthogonal design. This is very very important. This provides you orthogonal design, but which is may not be true for original design variables. So orthogonality means what happened that the dot product of two uh, coded variables, the values if you consider, they will become zero. So the independent part will be important here. We obtain different val uh, results while using coded or original design variables. Coded variables determine the relative size of factor effects. Relative size of factor effects. In the coded variable analysis, the magnitude of the model coefficient are directly comparable, and they measure the effect of changing each design factor over one unit interval, which is not. Possible, which is not uh, possible in original one. In the coded var design variable, the model coefficient are estimated with the same precision. Standard error of the model estimate will be same, irrespective of what what is the what way it is measured in the original units. If you code it. And then each of the uh, that regression estimates they will be they will be estimated with same precision. Standard error, same standard error. Original variables preserve the physical meaning of the variable. That is the that is the main advantage of using original or engineering units because they preserve the actual meaning of the variable, thus make the interpretation easier. But when you transform to coded variable, that is lost. It become dimensionless. So you have to be careful while uh, interpreting the results. Whatever may be the case, whatever may be the the way we think, the coded variable is advantageous, and it is preferable in 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 analyzing the experimental data, particularly in the two to the power k design. K factorial design situation because you have already seen that even if you have uh, the equation, regression equation or response surface in coded variable terms, it can be converted to original variables quite easily. So, now I will show you another example that, that if you go for coded variable and keep or original variable the how the regression estimates changes. Okay. Suppose the here we all know V equal to I R is the Ohm's law, V is the voltage, I is current and R is resistance. And suppose a laboratory based experiment was conducted and then keeping uh, that uh, amp I in at two levels 4 amperes and 6 amperes and resistance at two levels 1 and 2 ohms. So, then this is basically 2 to the power 2 design and this is this is the basically design matrix for regression and suppose that uh, the response response volts is replicated twice then then these are the responses obtained and this is the total. So, so what happened basically from here I, I have shown you how this codification is done this is now known to you now, now with coded variable and ultimately the regression equation is um, found out and you see that the regression equation with coded variable is 
voltage equal to 7.5 plus this by 2 3.04 this is the equation this is the equation now now you can convert it to original variables also fine and you will get this is, this is the equation fantastic now actually what you do now so what you are getting here you, if you use coded variable what you are getting here not v equal to ir what is the ohms law what you are getting v equal to this plus this plus this plus this so here there is interaction term is there but now if you that means what will happen if this uh, in order to preserve this law that means this constant and other two are these terms this should be this should be insignificant statistically then we will not consider them we will consider only i interaction terms and we will get the results now you see the output of the regression using coded variables and you see this set that means the constant is 7.5 x1 is 1.52 x2 is 2.52 everything all right r square is very high and t values are very high so all the parameters are significant that means the uh, original the main effect significant interaction is being significant okay now if you do the same thing in original units what is happening here you see only interaction effect is significant but the other things including constant they are insignificant so that be now you, what will happen after that you do not consider the co intercept and the main effect only consider the interaction term and do the uh, regression once more you will find out that ir will be this value will be almost 1 so that mean that is satisfying the the physical law here that um, physics law but which is not done satisfying here so this type of issues will be there so when you you basically anal analyze uh, the experimental data using coded variable you have to be very very careful about the about the physical meaning of it and another issue is that basically when there are such uh, physics behind this when something is known so this uh, this also that physics is, is to be taken into consideration okay while explaining the the outputs and this is true not for every models not only related to the regression here so lecture as as uh, is prepared based on the book by design analysis of experiment by Montgomery and in fact uh, we have prepared most of the lectures almost all the from this book thank you very much.